guys welcome back to my channel so today we're doing another client vlog tutorial we did this really pretty bronzy smoky eye and a nude pinky lip with a balm liner so yeah just stay tuned as i show you guys what to do so right now we are just cleaning anything on her skin with a makeup wipe and now i'm going in with a wet and wild coconut spray just to refresh the skin Right here, I am using my BH Cosmetics Powder Palette. I love this palette. Um, I believe it's called the BH Pro Palette, but I will be sure to list all the products that I use down below, like always. You guys will be able to see me majority of the time in the mirror. So now we're cleaning up the brow with a little bit of concealer. I either went in with the ColourPop Concealer or the Makeup Revolution concealer I'm not for sure but I'll just list both shades down below just in case so you just want to blend everything out because this is going to be our base for our eyeshadow and right here I am just setting it with the Maybelline fit me loose powder I love this powder I can't rave about it enough so now we're going in with the morphe 350 nature palette and I just worked with all the warm natural shades and we're just going to lay this down as our transition color just to create some depth on the eyes and you know we just want it to be really neutral really bronzy and just really clean so right here i picked up the same exact shade but i'm just working it a little bit lower in the crease i saw this from makeup by nessa she uses the same eyeshadow but she just goes a little bit lower so you can really use the same shadow and make it look like two different shades and i really like that hack so right now I'm going in with the darker shade. It's just a really dark, dark brown. And we're just going to smoke out the um, crease of her eye just to start to really smoke out the eye and make it a little bit darker. And right here I'm going in with the Maybelline Precious Petals Highlighter for her lid color. I love using highlighters as eyeshadows. These highlighters are super affordable and they are so pigmented. I do like to start to apply them with my finger but then you will see that i will be using a brush later just to get in those really inner corners of the eyes of places that my finger could not reach so now i am smoking out her lash line we're just going in with a really dark eyeshadow i don't really like using black liners anymore unless the client specifically asks but you can really get a really dark eye using shadow and it can still look really you know defined so we went in with some pretty mink lashes i don't remember the style but i'll be sure to list them down below so now we are going in with the wet and wild foundation and we are just going to buff this into the skin and i'm using a bh cosmetics brush as well i really love all of their brushes they're really amazing I actually take that back i think it, i think i went in with the maybelline fit me foundation but i will clarify that down in the description box below so make sure whenever you're applying your foundation that you just bring it down the neck and if the chest is going to be exposed make sure you put a little bit on there because you want the entire profile to match So now we are going to highlight her face. I'm highlighting under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, her forehead, as well as her chin. And I went in with the ColourPop concealer to do this. This concealer is one of my most favorite concealers because it's like medium to full coverage, but it blends out so smooth and it dries down to a matte finish. So if you feel like your T-zone gets super oily, I definitely think you should really try this concealer out because it is probably one of the only concealers that I can honestly say I recognize the difference on my skin when I started to use it. And I noticed that my T-zone didn't get as oily, so you guys definitely should go check this out.
so now we are going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and I'm going to use this to set her concealer as well as bake the skin. The longer you leave this powder on her skin, the fuller the coverage it will be under the eye as well as the brighter. And this is also going to be a, you know, just a guard for whatever eyeshadows fall that I'm going to use to smoke out her lower lash line with. So we're just going to set all the areas that I highlighted on the skin. And this is really going to lock everything down, make sure her makeup lasts all day. And just to keep everything matte and really fresh and clean. Right here we are starting to smoke out her lower lash line. So I just went in with the shades that I used on top and we are just repeating the same thing down below. You want to start with a really soft transition color and you want to slowly work into the darker shades. Now we are highlighting the inner corner of her eye. I'm using a highlighter palette by Makeup Revolution and we are applying this to her inner corner as well as her brow bone. Underneath the brow bone, it's gonna lift the eye. And of course, in the inner corner of her eyes, it's just gonna open her eyes and make them really look doll-like and awake and really fresh and clean. to really create depth I really wanted this lash line to be really smoked out so we're taking some darker browns and I'm really pressing them up against the lash line to get it as close as possible just so I can really start to create depth and smoke that lash line out a lot right here I'm just sweeping away any additional powder that was the Maybelline loose powder that I used, just to wipe away anything that may be sitting on top of the eye and you want everything to look really seamless and just really clean and perfect. So now we're going in with our MAC Studio Fix Powder and this is in the shade NC30. So I really like to set the skin with this because it takes the glam to the next level. You really don't have to use this step if you want your skin to look more natural, but this really adds just a little bit more coverage and it really locks everything in. Now I'm taking my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I don't know what I would do without this bronzer. This is just a staple item that I love to keep in my kit. And we're just gonna put this on the perimeters of the face just to start to create some dimension. You wanna put bronzer on your temples, all around your forehead, your jawline, and then we're gonna contour the nose as well. I'm not really the biggest fan on just really structurally contouring the nose. So I usually just take the same brush that I use to apply the bronzer and I will just pinch it just to give a soft definition, you don't really have to do too much, but again, that goes down to the preference that you like for your skin. Right here, we're going in with the Wet n Wild highlighter again. This is the same highlighter that I used on her eyes, and we're just really starting to really make the skin super glowy Again, this highlighter is super affordable and it is so pigmented. I have forgot how bomb these highlighters were. They were actually in my room and I just hadn't used them in so long and I'm recently starting to use them again. They are so pretty, you guys. If you're looking for a really great affordable highlighter, I definitely urge you guys to go out and try them. They should have them at like Target, Walmart, CVS, wherever they carry Wet n Wild, they will have these, but these are so so pigmented and so pretty so i'm putting just a little bit on the temples the nose you guys know the whole drill so right here we're going in with some bottom mascara and i'm just starting to coat her lashes this is going to create more definition and make sure you put on mascara on your top lashes if you're wearing falsies to blend them in now we're going in with a really dark brown eyeliner this is a gel liner by Maybelline. Again, I don't really like using black liners if I don't have to because you can still use brown and it can still look 
super defined. I just think brown is so much more natural and it's a lot softer, but it still has that definition there. So I urge you guys, you know, the next time you do your makeup and if you're really into liner, try to use a really dark brown liner and just see the difference that it makes because you can still rock a natural look by using something a little bit lighter than black. So now we're going in with the lips. I used a couple lip liners. I don't know right now off the top of my head everything that I used, but I will make sure that I list down everything below. We started with a really light brown liner and then we went in with the Maybelline lipstick. Look, I do know the shade of this lipstick. It is Baddest Beige. It is one of the most beautiful like peachy, pinky, nudie lipsticks. And I also love this lipstick because it almost has like a gloss effect in it. You really wouldn't even have to add a lip gloss on top if you didn't want to but of course i'm going to for the purpose of the video and just in general like i love gloss so right here we took another lip liner this is um earth tone by nyx and i will double confirm that in the description box below but i wanted the lips to be a little bit more defined and just a little bit darker so i'm just slowly building that definition with a little bit of a more darker lip liner and i'm just telling her you know pat your lips together this lip combo is so so pretty so now we went in with a clear lip gloss and i want to say i used another one but i think i just went in with a clear lip gloss so yeah you guys this look was so so easy super simple to create if you're really just looking for that everyday like full bronzy smoky eye you guys should really go and try this look because this is a look you could wear this for any occasion and it will never fail you like it's always going to be bomb right here i'm going in with the morphe continuous set spray and yeah look how bomb she looks like she looks absolutely stunning she was already gorgeous before but oh my gosh i just i'm obsessed with this look you guys like i love it and of course you can never have too much highlighter so we're going in with the lightest shade from that makeup revolution palette and i wanted her highlighter just to be a little bit more popping so we're just layering highlighters you know just doing our finishing touches